We are here with my first Pokemon Scarlet and Violet showdown live featuring Low Kicks, my favorite Pokemon from this generation. We're fighting a crazy team for our first game. If y'all are hyped about this as I am, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel also if you're new. I'm on my way to 400k and y'all can help me get there. I'm uploading three videos a day for Scarlet and Violet. So we're gonna get up uh, spikes basically with Quagsire. That's the whole idea behind this team. Get up as many hazards as possible and then smash the opponent with priority from low kicks or Breloom and then copy them with Ditto or my scarf Goldengo and just put in some work there. So I end up bleeding off a of Rotom. No big deal for me. Uh, again, just spike up. They do trick me, but I mean, my Rotom wasn't really dealing with any of their team anyway. And I much rather... Basically, just get up as many hazards as possible. Um, the Earth, the Earthworm, excuse me, could potentially get up spikes and stuff versus me, but we should be good. So we're gonna go Cyclozar right here. Um, what I can do is just shed tail with it and then bring out a demon. Oof. I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna do the exact same thing, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna shed tail immediately, sub and pass out while this is still legal, and they could earthquake. But I think that just going hard into Braylon is sick, right? As long as they don't pass into, I guess Dragapult would be scary for me. But if they go Dragonite, I can just Rock Tomb it, so we should be good. And everything is looking like, as long as Dragonite dies, my homie Locus just wins. And I'm so hyped about that, especially because that's most likely offensive Rotom. But yeah, what Pokemon have you guys been using? What have you been liking the most? I have so many mods, I'm going to use everything obviously. But this is probably best for me because I can Rock Tomb. I typically like to use Bug or Dark uh, Terrestrializing with Low Kicks because it just its priority is basically its biggest thing, right? It's its biggest asset. Now, ideally, my opponent is Adamant, not Jolly. I'm Jolly. So, what I want to do is basically beat down the Dragonite and not lose to it. I don't necessarily need Braylon in this game. Uh, it's good and bad, right? It's good into Rotom, but Rotom's offensive, so it's not the end of the world. They Their Ghost answer is not a Steel answer, and I can't... I can make it rain, <laughs> make it rain on these hoes with, with this guy's signature move. Pretty crazy. Now they go for Earthquake there, which clearly does not break my sub. This is perfect. This is perfect because their rock resist is basically this, well, this thing as well. But they Terrastalize in a Steel type, which is pretty big. I think that's actually pretty bad versus a Braylon because now I can mock punch them and they're Steel type for the rest of the game. So how do I want to deal with this? Steel, Terra Blast, Earthquake. We'll bring out Cyclozar. And I was thinking maybe I want to try and use it, but to sub pass. But I don't think I need to. I just knock off, get some chip on them, and then uh, mock punch and knock them out. They can drag this up all they want. They will, they will lose. I actually U turn here as well. Unfortunately, I am faster still. Maybe they're dragging this again, though. And they can't knock me out. And I get my one of my eight little recovers. Do I need a recover off, though? I don't think I need to, I just think I just click spike and let myself die. So that way I can knock him out with ditto after too if I really want to. I'll just spike again. They should knock me out here. If they drag nets again, that's fine. I, I don't, I have a ditto. I have a ditto and I have mock punch. Like I have so much going, I will sweep you. I don't, I don't think they get it. I don't think they get it. You know what? Let's see, let's get a little greedy here. Yeah, if they're not going to attack me, I'm going to use this to get regen. That way I can get another shed cell later and just sack Quagsire as well. And they're also steel type. Like everybody acknowledges this is steel type, right? Like my ditto comes in, copies them. If they had E speed, I don't even know if it learns it right now. Couldn't touch me. And I could just click earthquake and knock them out. Or I can go for Terra Blast. I actually have steel on my ditto as well. I actually have Terra Blast steel on my ditto too. Damn, I come prepared. <laughs> Yo, I be coming prepared. Holy crap. Um, I like the idea of just knocking them out with Thunder Punch though. I don't want them to go Rotom. I don't care about Dragonite at all. It's Steel type for the entirety of the game. It's gonna be taking spikes damage as well going in. Rotom can be a Rotom can be a little annoying. Basically, I'm just trying to force them out. But yeah, we get the spikes damage on Dragonite. Ooh, my homie's about to come in and put in some work. I'm excited. A uh, little bit of annoyance though versus the team. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna switch into this, so I'm just gonna go Cyclozar. Oh, that's fine because you know what we do with this homie. We just shed tell out. Shed tell out. This guy is gonna, this move is gonna get banned. This move is gonna get banned. I don't know the best situation here, so I'm just gonna go Braylon, maybe the Earthquake. They said a Toxic Spike, I don't think that matters. My spinner is really good. And we'll just go for the um, Choice Ban Bullet Seed. 
Hopefully we get three hits, four hits, five hits, whatever. Just knock out this Pokemon. Perfect. And Breloom, I'm so glad that Breloom's back. I think this is also another Mon that I'm super hyped about uh, it bringing back. But we are looking uh, like we sweep the game with first impression low kicks. It knocks out Dragapult. Um, we'll knock out Titar. Not a problem at all, this Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking going to Cyclozar, but probably didn't need to. Look at that. Breloom just doing exactly what it does best. And everything is going to die to my homie's first impression. I cannot wait. Dragapult. Psh. Click Bully Seed. Even though I technically should keep this thing alive. Yeah, why not? We'll go Cyclozar here. I have I have knockoff just in case they Dragon Edge. They can't Terrastalize, so I'm good. And then my homie Low Kicks can just put in some nasty work and win the game. Because I knock them out with uh, first impression. So they Flamethrower there. Doesn't even knock me out as their Life Orb. Um, let's go for U-turn here. I guess they could be sub. I have, I have options. I'm a U-turn. I, I just want to get a kill with first impression, right? So I'm gonna U-turn here. If they go for the dragon move, who cares? Draco, psh, my homie's out. I go for that first impression right now. It's gonna be my fr my free KO. This is a free KO. Easily knocks out Dragapult. Rotom's gonna come out and take 10 million from this. I'm just going to Terrastalize and Sucker Punch. Just become my pure dark type. Doesn't make a difference at all. It just makes my Sucker Punch stronger. Literally does not make a difference at all. I still have Bug Stab as well. Tyranitar comes out. You are not Choice Scarf. You can go ahead and get U-Turned on, which you probably died to, or very, very close. And then we win the game by uh, <laughs> making it rain. So, woo! Nice little crit there. Nice little crit there. I'll go out into Breloom just because I want Breloom to die. That way I can win the game with first impression from a homie. That's uh, what, three KOs, basically? I, I could have gotten all of them, to be honest. Uh, I have this team that I made. Again, this is just a fun squad I made. Uh, I played a bunch of games on another alt. This is just uh, an alt I made for recording now. And um, again, I'm going to be testing so many things. So I, this is the best time in the metagame, right? Where everything's broken. I don't even consider Terrastalizing broken yet. And I thought Terrastalizing would be broken off the rip. But then I realized, wow, we have like 600 Pokemon. We don't. We have like 300 Pokemon. And about 100 of them are broken in terms of their power and all that crap. So, all right. Just click Bullet Seed. Ideally, they knock me out. And then I get my first impression kill. Come on. Go ahead and give me my first impression kill. Please. I just, I just want it. I just want to knock you out. I'll look for another game while they're uh, while they knock me out here. Ah, I got another game. Perfect. A lot of people are running Torkoal because of its ability to give these guys all their boosts. Let me tell you something. I can't type good game because I recorded with CTC. So, um, and for some reason the account's banned again. Sorry, dude. But Toxic Spike look beautiful in this game. Absolutely incredible. Just they basically have everything because all these Pokemon look like they should be flying, but they don't. So we're gonna talk spike there. As they bring out Screamtail. Um, how do I want to deal with this? A little bit scary. I think I go hard, go dango there. As they bring out the great tusk. Now, the thing about this Pokemon is after spikes damage, it should die unless they're say harsh sunlight unless they're like a salt vest this should die to make it rain um it should die to make it rain yeah it should die to make it rain yeah yeah i did like 80 something percent so whew, make it rain on them there you go I always make it rain you know pull up in the club club penguin like, i don't be going nowhere else but this mom's so cool too. I can't wait. Because it blocks Rapid Spin naturally, right? Because it's a ghost type. But also its ability, good as gold, blocks Defog. So it's the ultimate spin blocker. But yeah, that's amazing. And basically, um, first impression is going to kill Roaring Moon. It's going to kill Chien Pao. It's going to... Um, we're going to do a little bit to Torkoal. And we're going to smash this as well. So this thing has Sucker Punch, which is why they brought it out. Uh, I'm just going to bring out my Quagsire. It does ignore... It just dropped my defenses because of its ability or something like that. But we should be able to get a spike. Again, I'm not very worried at all because I am just, the, the point of this team is to get up the hazards. That's the whole point of the team. So, time to bring on my boy. He's gonna, and get a free first impression. Don't have to predict at all. I get a super free first impression. Now you do have the defense, you do have the defense boost, but I mean, 
Ah, yeah, that's a crit. It has a defense boost, to be fair. It has a defense boost, and this thing is super, super, super bulky. But it's also very weak. And I'm good as gold, baby! Good as gold! You know how we do it out here! So, free Shadow Ball. I didn't want them going hard to Oracle. Love it, love it, man. The fact that it doesn't care about all that stuff is so cool. Um, Roaring Moon, Dragon or Dark, Ditto can literally sweep if I copy anything, and Breloom can't beat this thing, and this thing has Ice Shard, and it can't knock out Torkoal, so Breloom looks like the play. They go for Earthquake there. I'm just gonna Bullet Seat. I expected them to want to go out to Fluttermane. I'm gonna call them Mischievous and Salamence probably for a little bit, but I definitely expected them to go out to Fluttermane there. Anyway, the way I win this game is 100% by keeping up hazards. So I am going to make the Goldango play. If they predict that, great play. However, if they don't, as you can see, I don't let my opponent... I just went for this because it, I don't know if that crit mattered, but it basically hit everything. And if I died there, it didn't matter as long as I couldn't spin. That's all I needed. Ooh, and my homie's going to come out in a second and knock this thing out with first impression. Let's go. Uh, let's go Cyclozar just in case they do not go for Moonblast. They do go for Sub. Oh, shoot. That doesn't matter. They'll knock me out here. Oh, their life orb. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna take life orb plus that. Yeah, I can't, I can't lose. I can't lose. Um, they die, and then I just first impression switch, first impression. Should be a win. Because they're faster than me because of their protosynthesis, obviously. But they died a life orb, plus poison. And then everything, I first impression, switch out my, my, my homie, and the Tinted Lens boy just wins again. Classic. Even if my opponent terrestrializes into something at this point, they're too, even if they like terrestrialize steel or anything like that, at this point they just lose. They just straight up lose. I'm happy we have pictures that are not like hidden boxes at this point. Ah, uh, but it's time, baby. I come right into this, dude. I, I win the game. Do I? Yeah. 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 I think actually the play is um, to rationalize Sucker Punch just in case they do change as well. Because it should be a guaranteed kill. Yeah. Because that would be stronger than my first impression because of the fact that it's two times since I'm becoming uh, dark. So that was actually the better play. Just in case they terrestrialize into something. Uh, obviously, a resistance wouldn't matter, but let's say they could randomly live because they had some sort of EVs or something. Just becoming that. I still keep my bug stab, so it doesn't make a difference. I still switch out versus this Pokemon, even if they're random sub. Uh, Ditto copies them before they sub, and then that should be game. My homie comes out. Ditto might just win anyway. Oh, nice. I love that they did that. Perfect. Low kicks comes back out. Man, I'm so hyped that like Blunder and CTC really uh, go and terrestrialize, do whatever you want. I'm so hyped that Blunder and CTC really um, got they like this Pokemon now because I was trying to put them on from day one. It is day one, but but super day one. You feel me? Uh, looks like Sticky Web for my opponent, but that's fine. I get a T Spike here, and then this Mon Veluza is so cool. There's so many cool Mons, man. Oh, I terrestrialize Steel because this thing can be very annoying. Um, but yeah, I get up T-Spike, and then I get up regular Spike. I have Mock Punch for King Gambit, so I should be okay. I have a Ditto to copy them. I have Rapid Spin as well, so my Rapid Spin is really good. So yeah, we'll get up Spikes. Um, usually with... Um, that's an interesting Pokemon to bring in. You know, I ignore you, right? Now, usually with uh, Low Kicks, uh, one Spike is enough to guarantee KOs on most offensive Pokemon. Yeah, so they forget that I am unaware. <laughs> I feel like they're going to crit me here. Let's recover with one of my eight. Get a nice little earthquake off. That's perfect. That was like the... This is like the biggest threat to the team. In a sense, like, what's Sticky Web up? It's something that I felt like could actually win. Oh, let me get a little greedy on them. Oh, I'm so greedy. You know what? Let me get some greedy spikes up. Why not? I got the first impression one in the back anyway. I'm so freaking greedy, man. I want to get up all my layers. Why the hell not? Kukwavel has um, access to Rapid Spin, and it probably does have it on this team, but I really just want to make sure that I win the game with low kicks. Like, it legitimately just wins. <laughs> it sucker punches. It first impressions Kukwavel with the hazards up and kills it. 
It uh, sucker punches everything else and wins. It literally wins. So yeah, I'll get them all up. And if even if I get double crit. Also, do you guys see this? I only have four of those left. It's pretty crazy. The uh, it's pretty crazy the fact that they um, that this this recover nerf is doing so much. Like like yeah, I quote unquote won the one v one, but I didn't really. Right? I only have two recovers. But no, no, I definitely won the 1v1. Look how many hazards I have up. And I'm at 60%. Anyway, when they bring out, or if they bring out Kokwavo, I just switch out into Godengo. That way they can't... Um, rapid Spin. Don't care about this Pokemon at all. They can Flower Trip and knock me out. And let me tell you who's coming out right here. My boy! The GOAT! The GOAT! You have no switchings! Get out of there! You have zero switchings. I took this thing to high ladder on the other account too. I might not even use the other CGT team. This team is fire. I like this team a lot that I use. Um, Masquerade might come out. Yep. I'm going to bring out Cyclozar here. The Air Slash. Going to knock off first. I don't want to Rapid Spin first just in case. Just in case they, they don't predict this. But basically... Beautiful. I got rid of rapids. I don't I don't need anything else. And I just bring out low kicks again and click that first impression and get a kill. And if they switch into something like Kokwavo, gonna get smashed. So my homie is here. And you know what? I kinda wanna gauge damage. I kinda wanna gauge I know you die. You died a raw sucker punch. There's nothing to predict versus you. You just straight up die. You die. <laughs> you literally die. This is who I wanna see. I'm gonna terrestrialize into my dark. This should kill. This should hella kill. Yup. Yeah, it's two times. It already damn near killed anyway. But look at this homie go. Look at that homie go. Oh my. You guys got to leave a like for low kicks. This mod is just... I'm telling you, this mod is so good on uh, anti-offense. Also, yeah, like I said, this thing blocks defog. So I just bring it hard in on that mod always. They didn't want the smoke. They didn't want the smoke. They saw Kukavl. Uh, Kukavl. Well, maybe they saw Kukavl. Maybe they had the nightmares about that homie. But they saw the this guy. This family? Moss hold four? This family is crazy. All right, they're crazy. You don't want to... Look, I'm Puerto Rican and Italian, all right? So I know a lot about crazy families. But this family right here? Hella crazy. We're not about to get population bombed. Oh, my. Oh, goodness gracious. Good thing they're weak as hell. Except for their broken move, you know? They're weak as hell except for that broken move. We'll go you. I don't think they tidy up there. Just mock punch. I'm too scared. As long as I break, it's more than skill. This is going to do so much. Why'd you go out to that? <laughs> this, I'm sorry. Palafin, no! Dragonite comes out. Going to break its multi scale just to make my Ditto have a better shot at beating it. And then we'll go Quagsire, which should be able to deal enough. Um, should be able to ignore this threat and get up a spike for this guy. I have first impression and I have, like I said, Ditto in the back, so I'm not that worried. Ooh. Normal E speed is kind of crazy. I am going to take all of them from it, though. I am going to take all of these. Doing a lot. I'll ignore it a little bit, see if we can get up a T-Spike there. Smart of them to go out to this so they can click Dark Pulse versus me. But we get up T-Spike now, and that's going to hit Dragonite too. So we're already set up for the homie to come out. He literally gets a kill whenever he comes out. Uh, Dark Pulse is going to come out now. Hmm. Breloom might just straight up die. And Breloom is really good now that Dragonite's normal type. So I think I just go Slyke Lazar and just sack it. Okay. I don't think you have first impression. Well, Breland's better <laughs> to go first. Breland's way better to go first. Mock punch. I'm pretty sure low kicks knocked it out. Like almost always, but you know, it's such data cheat you. Yeah, 5580, yeah, hella knocked them out. I should have just went out to low kicks. That's my fault. That's my fault. Great Tusk comes out. Uh, we're not going to let it rapid spin on me if it wants to try to. They try and CC, same exact thing. And then at this point, I get a kill by just clicking make it rain. This mod's so good. 
the fact that this move is blender taught me is uh, I can click this three times I can click make it rain three times and it's still stronger than clicking three flash cannons is amazing like there's basically no drawback I don't know if that's on the spec set though versus its actual thing so nice I'm, I'm loving this ladder I'm loving this ladder I am loving it tonight Oof, I mean I know we're lower ladder here but it's just fun to test out stuff, especially in this part of the generation. Oh, I was fighting Grimmsnarls when I was testing, and I was like, oh, maybe I should run Mensa Herb on Quag. But uh, this looks like dual screens plus setup. Um, hmm. CC, I'm, Braylon's insane here. I'm going to see Quagsire anyway. Because uh, Quagsire getting up Spike is super, super strong. Dual screens are very scary plus these bonds, though. I'll be completely honest. And they have they have Clodsire. Clodsire is like annoying because it absorbs t-spike it's very very annoying it's very good good start for my opponent don't really want to switch in i'll get up a spike if i can they go corvi i have godengo to stop them from defogging because this mod is crazy like that look at that i'm good as gold baby i'm pretty sure i can uh trash lies this into ghost and sweep late game but we're going to Thunderbolt first, just so we can, uh, we kind of just click close combat with Braylon, right? So th this Mon is such a cool spin blocker. It's the best. It's amazing. It's the best. It's a top tier Mon. I don't even care if it is, like, if it ends up being top tier. Like, the fact that I can bring in and just completely shut down everything Corbin I wants to go for. Brave Bird, U-Turn, Body Press. You better start power tripping. And even then, Thunderbolt does some, this was Specs at first, and Scarf was just, like, so much better. Hmm. I should keep you for the subs. I should keep you for the subs. I don't have Dark Pole switching. I don't want to go Braylon because Braylon's mock punch is broken. Cyclozar, I choose you. Um, yeah, to be expected. <laughs> I think I bring you out though. Just click close combat. That should be free. I don't think you take this very well. Should I just mock? Mock is safer. Mock is literally better. I hit two shots Corviknight. Uh, Clodzar is the only thing that can come in. And if I wanted to break Clodzar, I would go for uh, Bullet Seed. But like, look how much I'm doing. I'm fast in this thing anyway, so I can't even dual screens versus me, even with Prankster. So that means we don't have to worry about screens. And this thing kind of just sweeps. Knocks you out, knocks you out, knocks you out, knocks you out. Like, it just sweeps. Only Clodzar can come out of me. And I beat that with... Uh, I basically get up spikes versus that, so we're good. There is, I have a version of low kicks teams with uh, Swords Dance as well, which is actually really good as well with the uh, sub pass from Cyclozar. But I like four attacks a little bit more, though U-Turn is always like, eh. Whenever I use it, U-Turn is like, it's good but bad, good but bad, good but bad, you know? You go Quagsire, the original. And I'll see if they uh, allow me to Earthquake here. I'm just going to Earthquake. <laughs> if they defog, who cares? And if they roost, I get to hit them. So, get a spikes if I can. And with spikes up, I should be able to just win by making it rain. Like, I'm not worried about Corvin at all. It gets two shot by close combat. So, get up my spike there. Let me get up another spike. Cool. It should U turn exactly so we get the spike. I mean, I mean, Corviknight's annoying because I, I let it heal, but I think with spikes up, I'm super strong. Yeah, let me just earthquake here. If they want to give me damage on their only fighting resist, I'll take it. You're severely underestimating the fact that Braylon got buffed by having Earthquake. Oh, one of these does a lot. <laughs> the other one did not. I am a, a real Quagsire. But yeah, so I should win the game very soon. We go this Pokemon and they cannot bring out anything on me because I'm fast in everything besides Scarf Chiyu. Nice. Gonna Shadow Ball. If they go out to the Moss, I don't really care. It's gonna crunch me, right? I just go. But yeah, I Shadow Ball here just in case they go Cloudzire because that way I can freely Thunderbolt later. That doesn't matter, dude. You can't pressure. You can't stall me out now in this generation. To be honest. To be honest, let's just let's just ensure I do damage to you. Let's just ensure I can 2 KO you later. To be honest. I could have done that with Braylon, but I just want to make sure I can knock you out whenever I choose to click Shadow Ball later. Alright, so the Dark Pulsar is coming in. 
First impression, dark pulse. I think Quag is the sack now. Because I think I copied this with Ditto and then, well, that's Scarf, right? Yeah, Quag's definitely the sack. I shouldn't have to predict with this Pokemon. I just click first impression. Now, Coronet does four times with this. Don't drop kill. Oh, I didn't kill. Damn, that's a shame. That's a shame, shame, shame. Damn, that's a roll. Gonna Thunderbolt here. Just to do more. Ah, oh, that roll is a problem. That roll is a problem. I don't want them going Moss. That's, that's a problem. Oof, got a nasty crit there. Why the hell did that kill? Holy crap, that's that's like a crit, but a super high roll crit. All right, so we're gonna mock punch, mock punch, mock punch, mock punch, mock punch, super soon. Actually, by that I mean I'm gonna go low kicks and get a kill whenever I come out. That's legitimately the play. Who do I copy from them that I want to win with? I think if I copy Moss, I get ten hits and win as well. Is that how that works? I didn't even know Clodzar had these great abilities. Poison point, water absorb, and unaware. I just ignored it. I just literally just ignored it as a Pokemon just because I haven't used it yet. Like, I've seen its stuff, but I haven't, like, I haven't used it. Um, the Darkmon is still very, very scary as it gets to click Dark Moves versus me. Chiyu versus Chiyu. I literally mock Punch, right? I'm gonna go Ditto. Weaken the special defenses surrounding Pokemon. 68, that's all I needed to do. I mean, we do the exact same damage to each other, but, but I have a chance to flinch, right? No, Flamethrower is literally better. Perfect. So now the Mach Punch is a guarantee win because they have switched. It is literally a guarantee win because that's the only Pokemon on their team that could, couldn't could take a Mach Punch. Oh, this thing's ability, Thermal Exchange. Attack is raised when hit by fire move. It can't be burnt. I'm going to ignore that and just go hard. This. Terra types into a fire type. Dragon Dance is up. First impression into Mach Punch should end that, so that shouldn't matter. Also, if you're not jolly, I'm faster than you. But yeah, first impression into Mach will easily kill this. Very easily. Fire type uh, terrestrializing is really cool. I, don't, I mean, I'm not sure what you actually do with it, but... Oh, that is such a shame. What a shame for them, not for me. I could mock punch, but you know, when you have the option, when you have the option to pick up a KO with low kicks, you got to go for it. It's not every day you get to pick up KOs with low kicks. It's actually starting today, but it will be every day from now on. Oh, please go cheat you and just die to sucker. Please go cheat you and just die. They knew... They knew the bug. They knew the bug was coming out, man. They knew the bug was coming out. All right, I got, I got ended on that. It's almost 5 a.m. Overall, I'm enjoying this. Obviously, a very, very, very fun metagame so far. I think every generation in the beginning is extremely fun. I'm just going to take a couple minutes to talk about it. But I like it. Um, the team is flawed. Clearly, no Dark Resist. That's not Brillum. That's a fake Dark Resist, and so is Low Case. They're, they're both very fake Dark Resist. They don't, they don't take Dark Moves very well. Uh, no Ghost Resist, really, because the Ghosts like Dragapult and the Make It Rain blow up Low Kicks and Cyclozar, but it didn't matter. It did its job in the video, and that's all that mattered. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. I'm going to upload content every single day, right? So I got, I got this. I got Moosehead guys, I got Wi-Fi battles hopefully, I'm going to do a bunch of discussions, I'm glad you guys were enjoying those as well, it's pretty, you know, nice to see the channel doing well, um, and also I'll be streaming on twitch.tv and youtube.com slash adrive for the next 10 days, we're doing a marathon together, me, him, uh, Deathly I Am, and Iron Boffin, so it's going to be a lot of fun, um, I'm trying to decide how I want to upgrade my showdown content. I do like a little intro for the Ash video. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that for these two. But we'll see how things do comparatively. But um, yeah, first impression, Logix is insane. Actually insane. 
Like that mod picked us so many kills. And the, I think I think the reason people sleep on this mod is because they they see it's BST, right? They see it's BST, and it's BST is not a lot, right? It's like it's like 480 or some crap like that, right? It's very 490 from something like that. It's very very low compared to other Pokemon, but it's not all about it's not all about like the stat total ever, right? If it was about stat total, Mons like. I guess I can, can't use Deoxys. It's like 450, it's BST, yeah. I can't really use Deoxys as a thing. But there are definitely Pokemon that have like really bad stat totals bar incredible Pokemon. Or like just bad, like like the Clef. <laughs> like Clef is the one that comes to mind. But um, yeah, the first physical tinted lens Pokemon we have that's good, uh, we had Moffin. And I guess technically yeah, Mega can do it too, like Reversal and Leechy Berry or whatever, but then it has to give up speed boost. But the first physical Tinted Lens Pokemon that's good has two strong priority modes. The first impression is Sucker Punch. And the fact that we have Terrastalizing, and guys, the Terrastalizing Sucker Punch is so broken. It's such, I mean, you saw how strong it was, man. It KO'd the mints. Like, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe for more. I'm going to be doing content every single day. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.